Gear speed is measured as rotational speed due to the fact that gears are attached to rotating shafts. When gears are used to produce linear motion, conversion is necessary to determine the linear velocity of the system. One common example of a linear motion application is a conveyor drive system, where a belt is mounted on a rotating drum. To begin conversion from rotational to linear speed, you need two data points, distance and time because speed is equal to distance divided by time. For each revolution of the drum, the equivalent linear distance the belt travels will be equal to the drum circumference. Calculate circumference by multiplying 2 by pi by r, where r is the radius of the drum. In this example, the radius of the drum is 0.25 meters. The circumference of the drum is calculated as 1.5708 meters. Therefore, the linear distance traveled for this one revolution of the drum is 1.5708 meters. In this example, the drum rotates at 30 revolutions per minute. The distance traveled for 30 revolutions of the drum is 1.5708 meters multiplied by 30. This equals 47.124 meters. The drum completes 30 revolutions in one minute. We know that speed is calculated as distance over time. Therefore, 47.124 meters per minute is the linear speed. Since meters per second is a unit of measurement commonly used to express linear motion, convert 47.124 meters per minute into meters per second by dividing by 60. This results in a linear speed of 0.7854 meters per second. 